welcome back to my youtube tutorials this is abn graphics yes on this particular tutorial we are going to learn how to do uh image manipulation changing of background and then having it look so realistic yes so let's just go to our photoshop just like this so the first thing i'm going to do is to import in the image and i have downloaded uh different different images that i'm going to use but however let us use this one for now yes so there is the image that i would like to use uh i want to change the background of this particular lady the the background this particular uh, image that i'm going to do the manipulation on so the first thing i'm going to do after importing in my image is that i'm just going to duplicate this particular layer by uh, right clicking and click on duplicate layer just like this then I will have it just like this. You get that, yes. And the next thing again I'm going to do after duplicating my layer is to select the subject. Who is the subject? The subject is the lady there. My focus should be on this particular lady in here. Yes, before I can do anything on this particular background. So I'm just going to click either select subject. When you are using the latest version 2024, you have it here which is select subject remove uh, background or you can go to select then subject does it you can also do that and it will be selected so first thing i'm going to do over here is to close up this one for now i don't need it right now so this one i will rename it subject yes i will rename it subject and just like that and then i'll select my subject by clicking on this particular distance and then i'll wait for it uh for my to be selected however it may work or not that well so let us wait for it to be selected before we can do the next step good so over here you can see that my subject has been selected so there is a subject so it has been selected so i have to zoom out to check and see where uh maybe place it that's that that is not selected well i can easily select it up and then i can move on so However, checking on the over here, it looks it has not selected a wall. So I can decide to add my layer mask, but no, I just want to make some changes to this particular place so that it will look good for me. So let's watch out. I'll come over here and then I'll select this particular tool, laser tool over here, and then I'll add uh, this particular subtract. That's a subtract, and this is add. Okay, so I'll click on this uh, subtract. Uh, this thing over there then i'll just select up the place that has not been selected just like that okay so that is how i'll manually select those areas yes just like that i'll just take my time and do that so as you are also designing or you are also trying to manipulate your background try and waste much time just to do it correctly and it will look good for you okay yes so this one over here i have to add so i have to click on this particular distance just to add uh, that particular place just like this okay yes and that looks so good so it has added and over here too i'll add a little bit there which also look good for me and over here i have to subtract so i'm just going to subtract over there yes the, the image looks so uh this thing is not that good it's iphone so i just have to take my time and then i'll do it either uh just this way okay yes so with this i think it's okay then i'll check through all the distance to see if there is uh, okay here need to be added so i'll just add this particular uh portion there just like that okay so that looks so cool so i'll check through my image if all my selection has been done well so it's okay image the image is not that good so i think this is okay so the next thing i'm going to do after selecting my subject is to add a layer mask so over here there is the layer mask option which is uh on the the, the layer panel so i'm just going to click on that and it will be selected just like it and as it's selected as you can see it has removed the background leaving uh, only the subject for me and that looks so cool so this is how i want it to be okay so 
for uh, sake of editing and those kind of things this particular layer mask i'll just leave it there because i will still need it uh, i'll still need it to work on certain things okay so i'll have it just like that so the next thing i'm going to do is to show up or on this particular button so that the full image will appear for me as we see so i'm just going to click on this to unlock this particular layer so that i'll have it layer zero okay yes the next thing i'm going to do again is to uh, go to file then I'll come to place a link then I'm just going to pick up a background over here that I have downloaded from Pinterest or you can check on Google to check different different images that looks so good for you then you can use it so that is what I'll have here then I'll try and move it a little bit just to cover uh, the that particular portion that I want I don't want it to appear so this way I think this way looks so cool so I can check through if uh, there is uh, some certain things that I have to check on, but I think this one is cool, so I'm just going to leave it this way. Yes, as you can see, as even when you do this, you have drastically changed the image to different thing. Okay, yes, and this looks so good. So the next thing again I'm going to do over here is that I'm just going to uh, use my mouse and click on uh, this thing image then i'll come to adjustment then i'll come to huge and saturation or i'll just uh, type control u to have it just like that okay so on this i'm just going to uh, change this uh, the, the color of that particular image over there so i'm just going to click on colorize i want to click on colorize as you can see it has changed the background it has changed the the image to different thing this was before and this was after so with this the saturation is 25 which is okay or you can decide to increase it if you wish so but on huge i can try to move my hair to the right side just to change the background or to change the color of that particular distance that suits how i want it to be you get that so i can keep on moving to get the best uh, color for my subject over there so i'm just going to move around and if any uh, of this color is okay then i'll just be okay so for instance i can stop at somewhere uh let's say here no let me see let me see let me see let me see which um okay somewhere here would be okay for me then i'll decide to increase the saturation as i'm increasing the saturation it will make the image look so beautiful again but it will increase the color and all that as you can see look at 100 percent it just make it blue you get that so but i just want it to look somehow realistic not to be somehow fake so i'm just going to make it somewhere 25 and that that looks so okay for me you get that or i can increase it a little bit somewhere 36 that would be okay for me then i'll click on okay so with this uh you have changed your subject to uh, uh you have you have changed your image you have manipulated your image to the best of uh, the, your interest that you want however i'm just going to add up some kind of um some kind of uh, uh this thing over here over here i can decide to uh right click and then i'll duplicate that particular layer over there then i'll move this layer to here as you can see there is the image over here there is the initial image so on this particular this one i'll click on uh of i'll blend it by adding uh blending mood which looks so okay for me because what i want over here is that i just want to have uh i can decide to use you see let me close it up you can see that there is shadow on this particular it's not there but when i blend it up you can see the shadow will come so maybe if you don't want if you just want to if you just want a fast this thing you can just add it up then you add a layer mask to it you see when you add a layer mask to it make sure here is a uh, black and then you choose uh, uh this color you choose uh brush too the way choose brush too you can decide to increase it just like that and then you can dry, just brush it up brush all this up you get that brush all this up because you don't need it you only need that particular this thing to uh, work for you so let me zoom out my work just like that and then i'll try and brush it up just like that brush all this up because i don't need it so i'll just try and brush 
all this are uh, over there and then I'll have it just like that and then I can uh, change my distance to uh, white so that I can show up this particular distance over there and uh, I think just to make my image look so realistic so that would be okay for me you get that yes and then you can have it just like that it looks so beautiful however um uh, having this is cool and you can have it like this and this one looks so okay for you the next thing again i'm going to do is the i'm just going to close up this one and then i'll import in another uh another background which is here i'll have this particular background over here just like that and then i'll try and move my distance somewhere like this okay let me see i think somewhere like this okay now click on okay you get that yes and then i can also have it just like that it looks so beautiful and it's it, it has no problem however i can add this nude uh effect on it just to make it look so realistic just like that okay so i'm just going to add this particular snoot uh uh, we call it a uh, window uh, distance effect having just like that then I'll move it over here just like that as you can see and then I'll uh, either use a blending mode the blending will use multiply or I can decide to use uh, overlay or I can use soft light so checking on this three uh, blinding mood options you can use overlay you can use soft light and you can also use a uh, 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 multiply and that looks so beautiful so having it just like this it looks okay and it looks beautiful and this was before and this is after you get that it looks so beautiful and there is another blending mood over here which looks so good like again this one yes i can also decide to use that one too and uh, just to make my work uh, looks uh, beautiful just like that i'll move it somewhere here then i'll change the blending mode to multiply and which also looks so beautiful for me just like that and then let me close up this one and as you can see it looks okay for me or i can have it just like that or i can even have both on it and it looks so beautiful however checking on this particular thing you can see that this particular does not have this particular uh, line on it so to make it look so realistic you have to add a layer mask to it and then you pick your brush tool and change this one to blue uh, to to uh, white, uh, black and then you can uh, just decide and increase your this thing and then, then you brush it up just like that just to look so beautiful yes look so beautiful you get that yes and let's let's close up this particular distance over here and then let's on this particular one over here as you can see so both is working with all oh, you get that this one is working with this this one looks good or you can also decide to change it to blind the blending mode to what to multiply which also looks so beautiful and then on up this one and it's already uh, multiplied and you see that it looks so beautiful yes so this is how we manipulate uh, 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 image in photoshop uh, using this particular method you can change the background to any color you wish for you get that or you can also decide that to use a a, a, a solid color by adding it on this particular uh, field over here then you can have let's say let's use somewhere red you get that it, it it looks so beautiful and then you can have it just like that yes and still it will still look beautiful you get that yes and then you can check through all the colors that you wish to use and all will look so beautiful for you yes so that is how we change uh, or manipulate a, a image background in photoshop using uh, this particular two uh, method and it will look so beautiful for you. Thank you very much for watching. This is Avian Graphics and have a nice day.